right, all right, where are we headed? The park. To the park. Well, the park is gonna have to wait, cuz <laughs> welcome to the <laughs> park. I'm Justin. And, and I'm Kesslyn. All right, I'm Justin and Kesslyn, today's game is called Mind Reader. <laughs> yeah! All right, we'll play two rounds. So you'll we'll each get a turn to draw a card that has a category. I'll start to describe something from that category, and you'll both try to guess exactly what I'm thinking. Whoever gets the most guesses correct before the time runs out wins. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, here you go. You draw a card. Okay. All right, what's it say? Movies. Movies. All right, here we go. First category is movies. Um, okay, I'm thinking there's a bunch of animals. They're out in the African safari. They're running around. And there's lots of music and songs and dancing. And then something really bad happens to the big animal. And the, the little animal's really sad. And oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. The Lion King. Okay, let's go. Uh, next one, one point for Justin. All right, next movie. There's a girl. She's under the water. She's singing. She has a fish who's <gasps> I about know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, the little mermaid. All right, next movie. Oh, yes. It's cold. There's ice. The girl's shooting ice out of her hand. She has a big oh, blonde oh, oh, rape. Oh, vegan. Uh, frozen. All right, okay. Yes, I did the Okay, you have a chance to take it back, Justin. Round two has a twist. You'll both be guessing what I'm thinking while eating a mouth full of pop rocks. Here you go. Here's yours. Okay. <laughs> and here's yours. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Here you go. Draw a card. What's it say? All right, it looks like the next category is cartoon characters. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. He's yellow. He lives in a pineapple oh, under the sea. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, All right, next oh. one. He is a little animal that likes to eat cheese and get, get caught in a trap. But then he has a friend who's a dog, and then he, he he's got a clubhouse, and he's oh, I got it. Yes, Mickey Mouse. Perfect. Ah. All right, here we go. Whoever gets the next one gets it. All right. Uh, she is in that other movie, Frozen, and she's got blonde oh, hair. It is Elsa! It is Elsa! You got it! All right, you guys know what that means. Justin got a point, Kesson got a point. That means that we're going to a tiebreaker! Tiebreaker! All right, today's tiebreaker is an eating competition. The person who can eat the most saltine crackers in 30 seconds wins it all. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, I hope you came hungry. Here you go. Let's start on the count of three. One, two, three, go! Okay, okay, we got three over here, three over there. All right, all right, all right, okay. One, two, three, Ke oh, Kess is going past me, Jess, you better hurry up. Okay, Kess is on number four. Okay, Justin's about to put cracker number four. Oh, Kess is on number five, are you going to number five? Kess is crushing it! How much time do we have left on the clock? 10 seconds left, here we go! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Justin takes it all! All right, here you go. Oh, womp, womp, womp. Okay, and because you won, you get a big chocolate bar. Yeah, you did. All right, well, now that you've had your snack, let's get you to the park. Okay, let's go. What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. Have you ever wished there was a superpower that could help you always do the right thing? Something to use when you feel tempted to do wrong things, like cheating off your friend's paper in class, laughing at the kid who tripped in the lunchroom, mm -hmm. telling your parents a lie so you don't get in trouble, or snatching the game controller away from your little brother because it's finally your turn to play. <sighs> well, you're in luck because there's a piece of God's armor that does two special things. 
It's a weapon that's used to fight against and defend us from temptation. Are you ready? Yeah. It's the Sword of the Spirit. Uh, no, uh, not that. Or that. Or that. That's it. The Bible is the Sword of the Spirit. When we know God's Word, we can use it as a weapon to fight against any bad thought or temptations the devil sends our way. God's Word is our best weapon against the enemy, which means it's really important to spend time reading and memorizing it every day. So the next time you're tempted to do or think wrong things, you can remember truth from God's Word, and His Spirit will give you the power to do what's right. There's nothing more powerful to stop the devil's evil plans than when we hold up the Sword of the Spirit. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God First things first, you got the belt of truth Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong Against the evil one, put on We can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor Great singing. You can take a seat. It's time to play Fun Bus Trivia. Which of these cities has the most amusement parks? A. Hollywood B. Orlando C. New York City or D. Bruga. Shout out your best guess. Believe it or not, Orlando, Florida is home to more than just Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It has a grand total of 12 different theme parks. It's time for our next question. The world's largest toy store can be found in which city? A. Dallas B. New York City C. Beijing or D. London Let's hear your best guess now. The largest toy store in the world is Hamley Toy Store. And you can shop there in London. It has seven floors, each with a different theme. So it's like seven toy stores in one. Ready for one last question? Which U.S. city should you visit to find the highest rat population? A. Atlanta B. Minneapolis C. Chicago or D. New York City Shout it out! Chicago may soon need to change its name from the Windy City to the Rattiest City because it's the rat capital of America. Great job playing our game! Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know the truth. There was a time when Jesus himself needed to remember what was true to be able to defeat the enemy. One day, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He was out there for 40 days and 40 nights without anything to eat. 
you can probably imagine that Jesus was very hungry. The devil came to Jesus while he was in the desert and tried to tempt him three different times. The first time, the devil could tell that Jesus was hungry, so he tried to use that against Jesus. He said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus quoted from the scriptures and said, It is not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. Then the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off, because the scriptures say, God will command his angels to help you, and their hands will catch you, so that you will not hit your foot on a rock. But Jesus saw that the devil was trying to use the scriptures against him. So Jesus said, The scriptures also say that you should never test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. The devil said, If you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of this. But Jesus had had enough. He told the devil, Get away from me, Satan. The scriptures say to worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Because Jesus used God's word, he was able to defend himself when he was tempted. In the same way, the enemy will engage us in battle by tempting us to do what is wrong. When we feel like making fun of someone, lying, or doing something that we know is not what God says is best, we can use the sword of the Spirit to defend ourselves against that temptation. We can hold up the sword of the Spirit. Hold up the sword of the Spirit. Everybody get on your feet. Let's play red light, green light. Listen for the motion, and when you see the green light, do it as fast as you can. When you see the yellow light, take it into slow motion. But when the light turns red, everybody stop. Ready? Round one. Hop on one foot. Round two, jog in place. Round three, jumping jack. It's Joe on the go, and I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. I am so excited for today. We're hanging out with one of the best musicians ever. His name is Robbie, and I'm pretty sure he's in the studio right now. Let's go find him. Thanks, Joe. Well, lots and lots of practice. You really have to stick with it. <laughs> you sure don't miss a beat. Okay, let's start with a little bit about yourself. Like, how did you even get into music? When I was a kid, I always loved making a beat. Whether it was on a trash can, the coffee table, pots and pans, you could always hear me drumming. I knew music was a talent God had given me. And look, now you're basically a total pro at music. 
Okay, so let's take this an octave higher. So many people think you're the best and you're totally talented. Did you ever think to yourself, hey, I can make it big and become famous? Joe on the go really bringing the tough questions today. Well, when I first started jamming, I did think about it. I mean, how cool would it be to become a famous musician who toured around the world and had millions of fans? I mean, that's basically the dream. For a lot of musicians, it is. I started off in that direction and noticed that I was getting pretty prideful. It wasn't a good look, and I knew I needed to chill out. That's real. Being prideful is no joke. How were you able to fight off that temptation? I had to put down my drumsticks and hold up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Bible. It's our best weapon against the devil's lies and any temptation we may come up against. That's the last piece of the armor of God and most definitely our strongest weapon. How did the sword of the Spirit help you the most? There were times when I was tempted to believe lies like being famous is the most important thing or the only way I'll be happy. But then I was able to use the sword of the Spirit by remembering some Bible verses that I'd memorized. Like Proverbs 18:12, which says, Proud people will be ruined, but the humble will be honored. And then there's Ephesians 6:11, which says to stand firm against the evil one. So you were able to use the Bible to fight off the lies the enemy was telling you and the pride he was tempting you to have. That's right. And you know, I'm still able to use my musical gifts by leading worship in my church, jamming out with friends, and teaching lessons to people of all ages. The music I help create totally gives all the glory to God. The ultimate crescendo. Robbie, thanks so much for hanging out with us. It's been a rockin' good time. Well. That's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Hold up the sword of the spirit. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to see. singing you can take a seat let's review what we've learned today try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out time's up which number has the match shout it out 
You found the first match. True or false, the sword of the Spirit is the Bible. True, the sword of the Spirit is God's Word. And when we remember what God says, it gives us the power to defeat the devil. Let's find the next match. Find the match, shout it out. You got it. Here's our next question. In today's Bible story, who tempted Jesus while he was in the desert? Yes, the devil tried to tempt him, but could not do it. Jesus used God's word and stopped the devil's evil plan. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out. It's time for one more question. Rosanna is tempted to get back at the girls in her class for laughing at her. Which piece of God's armor can she use to fight this temptation? The sword of the spirit or the shield of faith? You got it. The sword of the spirit is her best weapon to fight against temptation. Rosanna can remember Ephesians 4.32, which says, forgive one another just as God forgave you to help her forgive the girls in her class. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the Spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now I stand firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for the power that comes from reading and remembering your word. Help us to hold up the sword of the Spirit each day. We love you. Amen.